Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at how you can interpret a chromatogram. If we have a look at a couple of real life chromatograms then, this is one that I've made in my lab, you can see I've got one colour. If I've got one colour it means I only have one substance, one dye in there, so it is pure. However, if I change to this one here, you can see I've got two colours. If I've got two colours, it's impure, it's a mixture of two different dyes. So that's the first thing that you can find out. Also, you can talk about solubility. The higher up the paper it goes, the more soluble it is. So you can see here, my light blue dye is more soluble than my dark blue dye. Now if we move on to something that's more like what you'll actually see in your exam, I've got a chromatogram here. It's got three substances on it, and you could be asked questions such as, which ink has two different dyes in it? So what you need to do is look at all three of your dyes and tell me which one or ones have two inks in. You can see that A has two and you can also see that B has two. So your answer is A and B. You could also be asked which ink had the most soluble dye. We've just talked about the most soluble one being the one that's furthest up the paper, that's closest to your waterline. So in this case, my most soluble one is my green dye, which is B. And then finally, another thing that you can get from a chromatogram, if you have a look at C, the question could be, why did ink C not move? Usually, if it hasn't moved at all, it means that that ink is insoluble, so it will not move up the paper when it gets added to water. The final type of thing in terms of interpreting a chromatogram could be you get given two chromatograms, one with a sample from a crime and one with some suspects on, and asked which one is most likely to have committed the crime. Here, what you have to do is have a look at your dots and find out which ones are the same. So you can see that my red dot, both A and B have that, so it could be A and B at the moment. It can't be C because that doesn't have that red dot. You then have a look for your green dot. The only one that's got that green dot is my suspect B. A doesn't have it, A has a blue dot instead. So your first mark is going to be for saying suspect B. The next thing you have to do, which is where people lose marks, is you have to explain it, you have to tell me why. And that is saying something along the lines of both inks are at the same height, or you can say they both have the same colours. Right, let's see what the examiner can ask you. So I've got two questions, all involving the chromatogram on the right. Question one, explain whether the ink is pure or not. So is it pure, yes or no? One mark, how do you know? Two marks. And then question two, which dye is the least soluble. So out of your green and your red dot, which one is the least soluble? Pause the video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, nice and quickly then, let's go through. Is it pure or not? Well, you've got two dots in the same ink, therefore it is not pure or it is a mixture. That gets you your first mark. Again, how do you know? What do you write down for your explanation? It has more than one dot, more than one dye, more than one colour. Anything like that will get you that mark. Question two, which is the least soluble? Remember, the more soluble it is, the further up the chromatography paper. So your red dot, your red dye, is the least soluble. I have got a review question for you, which is, again, look at the chromatogram on the right, and then explain all the information that you can tell me about inks A, B, and C. So what do you know about ink A from looking at it? What do you know about ink B? What do you know about ink C? If you want to have a go at answering it, put it in the comments. I can tell you whether you're right or not. That brings this video to an end. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.